Hi guys, and welcome to analyzing a general form of the rational equation. Um, so there's actually more than one general form of rational equations, uh, but this is just the first one that we are going to look at here today. Okay, so in this particular form, you have y equal to some number, so remember a is a constant, divided by x minus h plus k. So again, a, h, and k are all going to be actual numbers or actual constants. So if you look down here in the two examples, you see that you have a 3 where the a is, a 1 where the h is, a 2 where the k is, for example. So these are all going to be actual numbers here. The a, h, and k are going to be constants. And then x and y are always just going to stay x and y. And the reason is because always whenever we have our equations, x and y are the coordinates of the points that are on the graph of this equation. Okay, so we have a couple things that we're going to talk about, and first let's just look at just straight up identifying what the, um, what the actual variables are when we're given an equation. Okay, so let's look at this first one here. So when we're looking at this first equation, we've got um, y equals 3 over x minus 1 plus 2. So all you really need to do here is you're just literally looking what is in this spot in our example and what's in that spot in the general form of the equation. So here on top where the a is, there's a 3. So that means that a equals 3. Now that one should always be the simplest, just absolutely straight up whatever's on top is a no matter what it is, okay, as long as it's just a number. What's on the bottom, this is the part that ends up tricking people a little bit, and you'll see I, I did it um, slightly differently in both of the examples. Um, so here you've got x minus 1 on the bottom. Now if you look at your original general form, it's a, it's a negative sign there. It is a minus, and so the h is going to be just whatever that number is there, okay? So the h is going to be positive 1, because in the original, there's a minus there, and in our equation, there's a minus there, okay? And then the same thing with the k, all right? So in the original, there's a plus sign with the k. In the new one right here, there's a plus sign with a 2, and so our k is just 2, all right? So let's do the same thing then for this other equation here. So a, remember, a is just exactly what's there, so a is on top of the fraction. a is quite simply 6. If that were a negative 6 on top, then a would be negative 6. Nothing special there. On the bottom, however, you've got x plus 4. So in the original, it's supposed to be a minus. And here, it's a plus. And what that means is that h is actually a negative 4. Instead of a positive 4, it's a negative 4. And you can think about it like x minus negative 4 would be the same thing as x plus 4, because minus and negative is the same thing as plus. Okay? So that's going to make it the opposite. And then with k, k in the original is a plus, and in ours it's a minus, and so that would be a negative 7. So this is something to be careful with, is what are your, the signs of your variables, because they're different, so the sign of h and the sign of k are not the same, you know, one of them's minus, one of them's plus in the original, and so it's just something that you have to be careful about and remember. I highly suggest when you're doing these problems to do a lot of them, just to get in the habit of them, looking back at the equation, making sure you're doing your signs correctly, and then try to memorize um, exactly which is which. Okay, and then the second part of this is you can tell from uh, the general form of a rational function what its asymptotes are. And so um, the next video, the one that's about the asymptotes, graphing the asymptotes, will tell you a lot more about those, but basically what they are is they're lines that the graph of the function cannot touch. Okay, and so for our general equation, we have, if we have an equation that looks like this, then the asymptotes are x equals h and y equals k. And I want you to make sure that you actually see this. It's not just h and k, it's x equals h, because x equals h is a vertical line. That's an actual line, okay? h is just a, a number, right? x equals h is a vertical line, y equals h is a horizontal line, so, all right? So you've got to have those x and y. So once you've identified your variables, finding the asymptotes is very, very easy. So here, the asymptotes would be x equals h, so x equals 1, and uh, y equals k, so y equals 2. Same thing here, right? So x equals h, so x equals negative 4, and then same thing, y equals k, so y equals negative 7, and that's it. 